What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be going through something actually pretty cool compared to what I usually do and that is the fastest way to switch Steam accounts from one account to another without having to type in absolutely anything. So if you're like me and you have multiple Steam accounts, here's my main account that has an absolute ton of games, but say you want to use Counter-Strike on an alt, instead of going Steam, change account, putting in your username, password and changing, or possibly using big picture mode to switch accounts, I know that's another method, this is actually way faster than any of those. It's in fact an open source piece of software that I myself created, and you can go ahead and check out the source for online if you don't trust it. So heading across to my GitHub, I'll be going into repositories and then TCNO account switcher. And this is the project that I'm talking about. Basically, it's written in C++. You can go ahead and check the source code yourself if you're interested in how it works. But that's besides the point. It is a super fast Steam account switcher that works only by changing one text file inside of Steam's folder and changing two registry keys. It's super simple and super quick. So without further ado, I'm going to demonstrate exactly how this works. If you'd like to download it for yourself, head across to the link down in the description below, which is the link to my GitHub repository for this. Head across to releases at the very top, and then go ahead and look for the one with the latest release tag, currently 1.2.1, and download either the 32-bit or 64-bit version. I'll be downloading the 64-bit version for this. I'm going to go ahead and make a folder on my desktop, and I'll just call it switch for now. I'll go ahead and say keep when it says it's not downloaded very often. And I'll be dragging and dropping it out into this folder. So currently it doesn't have an icon or a GUI, but it is super simple to use. So let's go ahead and run it. You'll be asked for admin and once you hit yes, you'll be presented with this page over here. So why exactly does this program need admin? Well, not only does it end the Steam process itself, it also ends the background services that keep you logged into Steam and may cause other issues when switching accounts like possibly a VAC insecure error with CSGO, etc, etc. Things you might run into once in a while with Steam. However, it completely closes Steam, changes the accounts and opens it up and it logs in straight away as if you had just clicked remember my password. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. I'm currently on my main accounts, I'll be tabbing into my account switcher, and I'll be using the up and down arrow keys to go ahead and pick an account. So I'll pick this one over here. I'll simply hit enter, Steam closes, and it instantaneously opens. That window closes, and it says connecting to my Steam account, and three, two, one, we are now logged into Steam on this secondary account of mine. Super simple and really, really quick. So let's say we want to switch back. Well, all we need to do is go back into the folder and run the account switcher. Hit yes when prompted. We'll be using the arrow keys to go back to my main account. And because it's already selected, I can just go ahead and hit enter. Steam closes instantaneously, opens up, and it's already connecting to that account. So how exactly does this work? I'll go into a bit more depth in a later part to this. However, I'll be running through the very basics right now. So these accounts I've already logged into and I've made sure to click remember my password. How exactly do you add a new account? Well, going back to the switch folder that I created and running the account switcher, giving it admin again, let's go ahead and go down to sign in with a new account. As you can see, some of these have hyphen save next to them, and those are the ones that I've logged into and clicked remember my password for. So we'll hit enter on sign in with a new account. You can see that Steam closes and then opens up to this page over here asking me for an account name and a password. I'm going to go ahead and enter a brand new alt that I've just created so it's not on that list. And then I'll make sure that remember my password is checked. It should be automatically checked by my program. And you just go ahead and hit login. Now this is the official distribution of Steam. I haven't edited Steam in any way. And it should work exactly like this for you. So brand new account. I've just logged into it. Let's go ahead and open up the switcher again. And upon running it and giving it admin, you should see at the very bottom is a new entry that says save next to it. So, it's men so it mentions the account name, followed by the username you've given it from your Steam friends list, and then your Steam ID, followed by hyphen saved, if it's saved. And that's about it. You can close Steam as usual, you can open Steam as usual, and you can log in using this. However, it's a ton quicker to open up the switcher, scroll to your account, hit enter, Steam closes, and opens up instantaneously into that account. Even if you hit change account or log out first, it's super simple and super quick. So on with the details of how exactly this works. Well, there's a single file that this edits and one registry key. So we'll go ahead and check out what they are now. Opening up my task manager, I'll go to Steam, right click, open file location, 
And then inside of here is where the files are. So scrolling up to the top, going into config, you'll see a bunch of files, but you'll see loginusers.vdf. These two I've created just for backups while creating the software, so I can go ahead and delete them. Anyways, loginusers.vdf, if we open this with a text editor, making it nice and small because I don't want to blank out too much, but you can see account name followed by the username for the account, personal name, which is the name you gave yourself on your Steam friends list, whether you're remembering the password and whether it's the most recent. Basically, all the software does is it changes remember password to one if it's not one already, and also makes the most recent login the one that you chose. That's all that it does. Opening up a registry editor, start R reg edit. Inside of the folder, computer, H key current user, software, valve, steam, you can see a bunch of keys over here. Auto login user is the username of the account it'll automatically try and log into if the password is remembered. How does it know that? It'll check both that file and this key over here saying remember password, and it should be set to one. That's all that this program does, and it's incredibly fast. It ends Steam immediately as you hit enter, changes some of the details inside of that one file and those two registry keys, and opens up Steam immediately afterwards. There's a couple of things that you do need to know with the software, and that is if you'd like Steam to run as administrator, you'll need to go into the folder with the exe inside of it, and right click, new, text document and just name it admin. It can be admin.txt or just admin. After doing that, it'll start Steam as administrator and therefore any game that you start with Steam will also start with administrator. If you don't want that to happen, you can just delete that file and it'll go back to normal. This program does always need to be run with administrator permissions in order to end the Steam service running in the background and restart it. Then the next thing is we can create a file named steamallocation.txt capital S, capital L, and it's written out over here. So steam location.txt. Opening it up, we can go ahead and enter a directory for Steam if it's not installed in C, Program Files, or Program Files 86, and Steam. That is, of course, if you put it onto an external hard disk, SSD, etc., etc., you'd go ahead and enter something like C colon Steam. But this is, of course, only if you've installed Steam to a separate location. After saving it and running the account switcher, giving an admin, you'll either have success and it'll work as usual, or it'll say Steam location set to C Steam or wherever you put it, and Steam was not found. Super simple. Anyways, that's about it. I highly recommend you check out this piece of software if you have multiple accounts and you'd like to switch between them very quickly. It is so much faster than using the big picture mode or basically any other method that I've really seen. I might be working on a better looking graphical user interface with profile pictures, etc, etc. But this is the way that it is for now, and it is incredibly fast at what it does. This will scale with as many accounts as you need to have. At least it should for quite a while. I don't think there is a limit, but if there is a limit, it's probably very, very high. I have not run into it yet while programming this. That being said, I did program it, it is completely open source, and I don't collect any of the information. This program itself does not collect any information from you or your computer, other than what C++ and Microsoft will take from running it, etc, etc. I personally, or this GitHub or this program, don't intentionally take anything, not even your usernames. Those aren't even stored in the program, they're stored in your Steam files, and they'll be read from there and left as they are. Anyways, that's about it. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.